Hey folks, in our last video, we gave you kind of an overview of how the Wyoming system for elk works, how tags are allocated, deadlines, all that stuff. In this video, we're going to show you how I use the insider system from Gohan to do my research, how to filter out what works for me, what works at my point level, and hopefully find the tag and the hunt that I want to go on. So follow along while we do this. If you sign up and use promo code Randy, R-A-N-D-Y, you're gonna get a $50 credit in their gear shop. A really good gear shop with a lot of great backcountry gear. So when, I, when I'm using this Go Hunt system, I really have two ways to do it. I can go straight to the state of Wyoming, or I can go to the draw odds. I mean, these draw odds are good. They, they are the best draw odds out there. And I go to the draw odds and I select Wyoming and I say, am I gonna apply as a resident? No, I'm a non-resident. And as we talked about in the last video, I've got a choice between the regular draw and the special draw. Well, because we need tags, we need tags for a TV show. I'm always applying in the special draw. I told you before, I don't like that special draw, that split between special and regular, but that's the way Wyoming does it. So nothing I can do about it. So I look at elk. And I say, well, I don't have any points for elk. That's not good. <laughs> what are my odds? Because last year we drew for elk. So now I'm going to look at, it gives me the column here. These are the type nine tags, which are strictly archery tags. Well, there's a couple of them that I got 100% odds on. Three of them actually. But I know those units and I'm not going archery hunting there. Then I look at the rifle tags and I look and with zero points, there's quite a few of them here where, you know, my odds are 30%, mm, not good there, 7%, 4%, 0%. So with zero points, I gotta, I gotta really do some research. Well, my uncle Larry, he's got nine points. He's not at maximum, but he's got nine. So I'll put his number in there. Wow. Look at that, he's got a lot of places he can go elk hunting in Wyoming in the special pool. So he, he's not an archery hunter, so down here I can just say, eh, I don't want the archery seasons, I just want the limited quota rifle seasons. And I select that and that's all it gives me is the limited quota rifle seasons. So my son Matthew, he's got maximum points. So I put his number in there and say, all right, with maximum points, what are his odds? Wow, there's hardly any units that he can't draw. Well, unit 22, that's no secret. 30, 31, 32, that's no secret. You want to know where the super high quality hunts are? Just plug in maximum points here and see if there's any hunts where you can't draw. One of the things I often do is I won't just look at the special draw. I'll look at the regular draw also because sometimes as weird as this sounds, your draw odds are slightly better in the cheaper draw. Don't ask me why, if it's just a trend, if it's an overlooked unit or whatever. I have drawn tags in the regular draw and paid a lot less money. That's the beauty of the go on system. It lets me search the draw odds by special draw and regular draw. So now I say, well, I kind of got a feel for what the draw odds are. Let me go to Wyoming itself. And I want to do a little more filtering and playing around here. And so when you click on Wyoming, it loads a map of Wyoming. And over here it says what species. Well, we're talking about elk. So I clicked on elk. Over in this column, you have every unit from unit one to unit 125. That's a lot of information right there. How am I going to read? Actually, now they have unit 130. Hmm, okay. Last year, I think they only went to 125 or the year before. <coughs> but there's a ton of information here. I don't want to go in and have to read every single one of these units. I want to do some filtering. So I say, all right, we're going to apply in the non-resident special draw. And the very first thing I can do if I want to is I can say, you know, for me, it says trophy potential. It's not like this is a guarantee that you're going to see a bull of that size. But for me, a 300-inch bull elk is a nice six-point bull elk. I really, really like that. 
Well, I got zero points. And I, I don't care what my draw odds are right now. What seasons am I looking at? Well, I really don't want any of the archery seasons. I know I'm stuck. I, I've committed that next year I'm going to be in other states in archery season. So I'm just going to look at the rifle seasons. And I want units that have... Hmm, I want at least 30% historical success rate, harvest rate. So I look at that and all of a sudden a bunch of units have fallen off my map. Okay, well, which one of these do I have a 25% better chance of drawing a tag in? Oops, my map just got smaller. What if I want 40% chance of drawing a tag? Oops. With zero points, my options are getting scarce. But my point of showing you all this is you can kind of set your parameters of what you want to do and how you want to do it. And just do your own filtering, your own searching. Here's the really cool new feature to go hunt. They've got the public land percentages. So if I don't mind a unit that has hardly any public land, say only 20% public land, uh, still most of the units in Wyoming are still going to be there. But I might say, you know what, I got to have some public land to hunt. So I only want units that have 40% or more public land. Well, there you go. All of a sudden, a lot of the units in the east part of the state disappeared. Some of the units in the high agricultural areas disappeared when I add my other criteria of 30% harvest success and possibility of a 300 inch bull. Maybe I wanna reset all my filters and my number one priority is, I don't care what kind of an elk it is, a big one, a small one, I, I don't care what my draw odds are. I'm gonna go back in here, I'm gonna look in the special draw and I'm just strictly worried about, do I have a place to hunt? Public land. All right, I want it to be at least 40% public land. Whew. Pretty much the east half of my map went away. So if I say to myself, I need at least 40% public land to have some sort of place to hunt, even though I'm really good at navigating with my Onyx map system, I still got to have some public land. So... I said, all right, I'm starting, that's where I'm starting from. I want 40% public land. I want a unit that has at least 25% success. Well, you can see in Wyoming, once I added the 25% success, hardly any units disappeared. They're just about all over 25% harvest rate. And then I say, okay, what if I want, a, I, I want a unit where the odds are I'm gonna get a 300 inch bull or they at least live there. doesn't mean I'm going to get one, but we know that they, they're known to live there. Hmm. Still not too many units went away. Well, what if I want my draw odds to be better than 15%? Hmm. My map got really small because I have zero points. But there's still some, and just about all of them, are general tags. Most of my remaining units are the general units. That's fine. So what if you had four points rather than someone like me who only has zero? Now all of a sudden there's a bunch of units in the Bighorns. There's some others that, that popped up in the Wind River Range or some that showed up in southern Wyoming. This is an unbelievably powerful tool to get you to what you're looking for. I have in that room over there, I have file cabinets full of stuff that used to be this research service. So this is how it works. This is what I do. I have, like I said, I've got zero points this year. So for me, I'm really gonna have to put a lot of thought in this. The odds of me drawing this year are really slim, other than a general tag. And in fact, I don't mind going to Wyoming in any unit. I don't care what the trophy, quote unquote, trophy quality is. I just want some place that I have oh, random odds of 10% or better. Well, there's not a lot of units. I don't have many choices, but 
without having to go and click and, and research every one of these that quickly, I found which units have 40% or more public land where I have at least a 10% chance of drawing. And now, okay, unit 33, I've hunted unit 33 before. It was the first year we did On Your Own Adventures TV show. Uncle Larry shot a really nice bull there. So, it's called the Middle Fork area. It gives you a snapshot of kind of two, three sentences of, of what their unit looks like, what it's made up of. You know, is there any kind of, they call it buzz here, like is there any hot talk about what's going on in that unit? Uh, what the general size of the elk are, 270 to 300? You know what? That's usually a nice six point bull. It's probably a three and a half year old bull. Nothing wrong with that at all. You might find one bigger. And then it goes and talks about, here's the size of the unit, 53% public land. Uh, gives you the historical temperatures in that unit, historical precipitation in that unit. And then it gets into giving you a quick explanation of each of the hunts. So in this unit, your type one tag allows you to come and hunt the archery season. If you buy the archery stamp, here's kind of the, the information you need to know about the archery hunt. Well, here's what you need to know about if you drew the type one rifle tag. You can shoot, uh, you know, either... Your type 1 tags, a lot of times in Wyoming, are either sex tags. So you can shoot a bull, or if it's getting late in the hunt, you can shoot a cow. There's information here that, how many times do you look for information that's a moon phase, a calendar, historical drought data? It's all here. So that's how we use the Go Hunt Insider service to do our filtering, do our research. It saves time, and most importantly, it allows you to be more thorough and more precise, which increases the likelihood that you're going to draw a tag in Wyoming. Thanks for watching.